tonight's top five is it was a request from yesterday's or last week's chat. Top right. five movies with aliens in them from the two thousands. So, and I did not do off. the two thousands. I did, no. uh, yeah. But you did cool picks, so the I just did say Zathura. I mean, great movie, very Jumanji style. Um, I, I two two brothers learning what it's like to be brothers and learning appreciation. Great story, great story. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Awesome movie. Uh, number four, we got Transformers. Epic movie. I thought they did such a good job with this whole series, really. Um, but especially the first two, I thought they really not, knocked it out of the park. I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be as good as I, I think it ended up. Great series. I think everybody enjoys at least the first two. And uh, Megan Fox certainly didn't hurt it. Number three, War of the Worlds. I absolutely dislike Tom Cruise. <laughs> but that movie was so dope. Such a good movie. Number two, Titan AE. If you haven't seen this, I highly suggest you go find it. Great for kids and adults alike. Really, really fun movie. Such a fun movie. Uh, and it's a Wookiees list, so there's guaranteed to be a cartoon on there somewhere. But number one, you got it, Star Trek. This movie they did so good with. <laughs> I love how Brian just Brian's over it, dude. He's about to leave the show. <laughs> I, I I loved, I loved it. I thought it was great. I loved that Star. The casting in that was so dead spot on with the new characters. I thought they all acted well. I just really. I can't tell if this is shtick. <laughs> no, I, I literally do like the new Star Trek series. You, you, like, you trying to get one over on us? Bro? I was like, kayfabe? Like, no. not breaking kayfabe? No, 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 what no. Is this I shit, enjoy man? those movies. <laughs> you cannot be a fucking Star Wars fanatic and like Star Trek, bro. I can't do. No, no. discrimination up in my place. It's all good no. stuff. No. <laughs> love. Universal love. I do, however, wish... Marco would have been here for that because you think you're upset, boy. I was waiting to hear the wrath of Khan, possibly. Or, I mean, Marco. <laughs> oh, out of here on that one, man. Well, have to How hope can you I'm not there. like Star Trek? There is oh, some awesome stuff about Star Trek. Oh, he left again, damn it. I got really ripped today, bro. And it lasted until about 10 seconds ago. Until right now. <laughs> he took him away. Oh, you missed Solo's uh, list. Please tell me it wasn't a fucking market report. No. It wasn't. No, Sorry, it was I had a pee, dude. Simple. Brian it kept was... saying drink. He kept saying drink, so I drank like three. I'm already drinking three no, bourbon and Red Bulls. A quick, simple, easy list. It was boom, in and out, and completely fingerprint <laughs> resistant. It was awesome. Motherfucker, if you put... If you if 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 I watch this back and there's one piece of Star Trek on it, you're banned. Dark Star. For, no, you're not. I don't care really. I just I've never watched this. He he's he's never gonna live this one down. I can't tell if it's shtick, bro. It's like, hey, I could tell last week and I actually so so Solo Wookie took eight hours if you missed last week's show to open up one box after we told him not to do that. I could tell it's stick. I felt so bad because some dude in the comments was like, hey. It's not funny for you to laugh at that joke. <laughs> I fucking fell out of my chair. I said to Solo, I thought about it. And I said, hey, Solo, man. He goes, the fuck are you talking about, dude? I don't give a shit what you were doing over there. I love over this shit. I don't get if Solo, he's ever doing skit, if he's ever just doing a stick or if he's not. But whatever he does, I love it. I think it's funny. So keep it going. But I'll tell you this. Uh, he knows he can do Star Trek because I know absolutely nothing about Star Trek. I won't get the joke. It's like boy bands, bro. I just got no, lectured was, by my old great. lady. It's an honest uh, list. My honest old lady to told list. me that uh, Britney Spears and Kevin Featherline or S Timber Slake or whatever are not married. So I didn't even know that. So like, whatever. All right. Who's next? What list? If you did Star I'll, Trek. I'll go, I'll go next. Um, okay. 
I, uh, again, I did not follow the rules. And uh, this is not in any order, So, but we're going to go with it. All right. So uh, number or, or one of them is Aliens, right? See, the, not, not the original. Not the original. The second one. The second See, one. That's not in 2000, bro. <laughs> I know that because See? I what fucking couldn't do? find any stupid alien movies that were any good from 2000. Alien vs. Predator. Well, hold on. There's a couple of them, but hold on. I got good ones in here, bro. Right. Aliens, because I remember being a kid and trying. We would play games, and whoever got picked being the the douchebag Bill Paxton character was always felt like shit that he had oh, to yeah. play that character. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but it, we used to play Aliens all the time as a kid, and this movie was so bad. This was like the first movie I remember seeing, like with my dad and his brothers, like the first time they saw it. You know, it was like the first adult movie I remember seeing as a kid with with adults. Um, but uh, really cool movie. Um, all right. You guys know me. I'm a stoner, bro. Mars Attacks is one of the greatest all-time movies. I has got Jack and Danny in it. Ever. Like, this is iconic movie. This is one of the greatest movies of all time. You got to love this movie, Mars Attacks. Um, all right. Anybody who grew up in this time period and did not love her. I don't want to talk to you, man. Like she was the hottest thing ever when Species came out. And when you got to see her naked in Species, it was a game-changing moment for young men. And this was one of those moments. So shout out to Natasha uh, Henstridge. Uh, drink to her honor. Roll one up to her honor because she is absolutely phenomenal. Just wow. Kyle, so we have two Wookiees now that don't ever – Read the rules. They just. I read the rules, but I, I don't play by the rules. Um, all right. So again, Piper says she's burnt. <laughs> I know. I don't play by the rules, so I don't put Predator on there or AV pre. I put the best Predator movie ever. That's Predator Two, with fucking Danny fucking Glover, with that when Danny Glover got the badass Predator <laughs> weapon. And uh, that movie was the Predator was badass in this movie, bro. This was way better than Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is one of the few times where the the second movie is better than the original. And Predator Two was the real. Hey, fucking no deal. doubt, no doubt. I will yeah. agree with that. You didn't follow the rules, but I'll agree with that. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right, you and the with a few days to kill. The number one movie. Contact, get the fuck the out the of here. Are you shut you son of all right now? You ready? Here we go. Like here we go. Fun. Here we go. Have any of you guys had a spiritual psychedelic trip? <laughs> if you haven't seen it's had in it, had that, I don't want to hear a fucking word from you. <laughs> because this shit is like having a fucking psychedelic trip, man. When she goes into space and the aliens come to her and they show up to her as her dad because they know if they come to her as looking like her dad, she won't freak out. That's like psychedelic DMT shit, man. That is straight up uh, seeing God. That is being higher than fucking giraffe pussy, man. This contact is one of the greatest alien movies ever. Just, hey, what do you know what giraffe pussy's like? Dude, listen. I said higher than giraffe pussy, bro. <laughs> higher than giraffe pussy. You know? Like giraffe pussy is like six foot high, you know? You know. <laughs> Straight up contact, baby. Bro, Real you're, deal shit. You're killing me tonight. I'm losing my shit, dude. This is awesome. <laughs> Dude, you got me fucking rolling. Please tell me I'm not next because I don't. I'm almost crying because this is so fucking okay. great, dude. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. All right, please, Just please let me get ahead. a second to contain myself. Brian, good list. I like it. Thank you, you broke brother. the rules. Thank you. Fucking great list, dude. Giraffe pussy is something I. <laughs> <laughs> I really Higher than giraffe pussy. pussy. You never heard that one before, bro. Uh, Fuck no. no that's, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. All right, who's going next? I am. All right. Drop Man, a like look, hey, the chat. Hey, first off, chat. Thank you very much. I know y'all laughing down there. I know y'all having a good time. We really do appreciate it, man. We're we're obviously laughing too. Um, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry, Kyle. I don't mean to cut you off. What? No, do not put this book up here, please. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this. I love this movie, dude. Evolution's a good movie. Evolution is awesome. 
the best part is still when it's coming up, they're like, you can't cut my leg off. Can't. It's coming up towards his crotch. He's like, cut it off. Cut it off. It's uh-huh. coming up towards his dick. We got to lube it. Don't lube it. Don't lube it. There's always time for lubrication. <laughs> the whole movie is just awesome. It's just like, it's a, it's a it great It feels like it's movie. real. Like they, they say some crazy stuff in here. I love the price co or the price club <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good it's one. It's a, a funny great movie. movie. That, yeah. You can just watch it over and over again. I'm thinking of something else. Maybe. My next one was You're thinking side. about idiocracy. I think. Idiocracy. Yeah. yeah. No, that one's funny. Yeah. This one's cool. It's one of the ones where you kind of don't really get to see aliens. So it's just creepy. It's when M. Night Shyamalan was actually making decent movies. I had this one on my list. I had it, I had it on, on the list, but I asked Kyle if he had this one on his list, so I took it off. And there is a moment in this movie where I remember when they show the alien for the first time and he's walking and, and he looks and he does the, the, the Bigfoot moment where he just kind of turns like a Bigfoot and looks at, and they're in the... And dude, that shit scared the shit out of me. And I was like 25, man. <laughs> It was so, crazy. Next, I have Pitch Black. The movie. Great movie. Oh, I was, yeah. He Look, hey, no, I fuck you. It. No, no, this is, no, time out. You fucking broke the rules too, because this is the fucking, this is the whole group of them together. And it, it, Pitch Black originally was what, 92? You no, can't no, use it, Pitch Black. It, 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 it came out two th- between 2000 yeah. and 2000. No, 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 no. That was, that was the anal. No, that was the redone version of it. Time out. No. No, 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 this, no, no, no. This was the original that Pitch the whole, Black. Yeah, the original no. Pitch Black came this out. This is the like, Chronicles of Riddick, right? 2005. Yeah, the Chronicles of Riddick. This is the whole thing of the Chronicles of Riddick. This is the redone of all of them but put together. Actually, the, the actual Pitch Black is the second movie. It, it no, yeah, it's good, it's good, but I remember because they're I was, both good, they're all good. Man, Riddick's man, a badass much. character, I can't remember where it was. Okay, Chronicles yeah, of Riddick I love, was a, way I love all, yeah, dude, I liked all the yeah. Chronicles of Riddick. Pitch Black was 99, uh, 2000, and Chronicles yeah, of Riddick was, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 all right, you just squeaked in there, I squeaked all in right. there. All right, all right. My next one, great movies, though, both of them. Oops, is Star Trek. Is this where he blew up a planet and pissed off all Trekkie fans? No. Damn. Yeah. Yes, then I don't give a shit is. about this movie. But <laughs> no, it's kind of what Solo said. I'm not going to really get over it a bunch. It was awesome. Good it's movie. A, I liked it's it. It's such a good series. I love the whole series. They did yeah, J.J. Abrams is a great director. He did incredible <laughs> on it. He did I thought he did. Just the, act, the acting, the cast. The, oh, it's just a good series. Well, I know, Christine, it's not your track, but I liked it. It was good. I enjoyed it. And then my number one is Men in Black 3. I fucking love this movie. I know it's cheesy and it's stupid, but you know what? It's fun as hell to watch this movie, especially this one. This is the one where Will goes back in time, and he loves he loves him, and he goes and he saves Kay. It's just, and they see the future, and it's just everything about it. They're all it. really good. All, all, all the MIBs are are entertaining. Their re their rewatch factor is very high. Last weekend, I think I actually watched this movie twice in one day. Shout out to Chuck. But Clay, you can't put up comments that just agree with you. <laughs> hey, by the way, Chuck. <laughs> hey, by the way, Chuck. I got uh, I got something in the mail today. You want me to open it up on the show in a little bit? Let me know. He only he only agrees with comments that say twenty comments. <laughs> one, this is, yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead. Oh, MIB. I love you, McClay. Look. All right. Oh, that was my final. That was it was Men in Black 3. I just love this one. We were back in time. A lot of fun. All the Men in Blacks are good, but this one just for some reason is just fun. Well, that could be true, Christina, but I enjoy the originals as well. So no, Christina, thank you for that. Um, and he's terrible. Uh and I, and I do enjoy the last three the best. So that could be a very true statement because I the love last Star three Star Wars. Wars? I like Star Trek. You're done. You're done. No, the last three Star Treks. Did he blow up a, I'm sorry, real quickly. Did he blow up a planet that pissed off yes. all Star Trek fans? Yes. yes. He blew up That's the best movie he's ever done. Best movie he's ever done. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Was that on your off. list? Yeah. Excellent. Good list. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking over Dark Side. Good list. You should Good have list. seen Brian's face. 
Brian. I know it, man. Dude, Star Trek fans were so mad. I was wondering why. What Star are you talking Trek about? Fans? Star Trek fans are so mad. They were so. I mad wasn't mad because planet. I'm a fucking Star Trek fan. I was mad because a gosh darn Star Wars fan, a self described Star Wars fanatic, has it, Star it, Trek as his number one favorite movie. No, no, get the blowing up of some planet that got all the Star Trek fans pissed off. Yes, I should put it as my first two. Yes, anytime you can make Star Trek fans mad, that is the king of Star Wars. Yes, absolutely, I preach it all day. What the Star Trek Star, trash? What Star Wars movie came out between 2000 and 2010? There was two of them. I don't care. Oh, you just don't do no, it, bro. Uh, Sith and. Uh, I don't watch Star Trek, bro. TV for pussies. Yeah, they, they were not. They were not good. They were. Not, yeah, they were. They were fine. Shut. Stop. Yeah. Stop talking. You won with. You Compared just won with saying ones? that you mm-hmm. just won because you said that they blew up a planet and it pissed all the Star Trek fans off. And now you're saying Star Wars films are not good, bro. Dude, I'm an Indica guy. Star. I'm a Star Wars guy. I'm a please. Beatles guy. I don't fuck around with the Stones, please. Star Trek, or Pepsi. No, nope. sativa. I, dude, I love when Star Trek fans are mad, and when J.J. Abrams blew up some planet that I don't give two fucks about, I'm happy, real happy, because I don't care. But when J.J. Abrams Abrams starts doing fucking Star Wars films, okay. So my list is what? Kyle, let's pull up a list, please. I gave a list. Did yeah. I give a list? Yeah, you did. I'll do it Thank right you. now. So, okay, you might be on semi detention or jugs, as they say. Yes. Yes. All right. Bring the thunder. <laughs> Jesus. All right. That's number one. So please don't put that one up first. Okay. Ooh, number start? one I had on my Hold list. Was... Hold on. Steve. My bad. This is good. Technical difficulties. This is what I get for talking crap to every person. Now, in see, here wait, right now. because I was going to put Paul in there, but Paul is not between 2000 and 2010. No, I did 2000 to now. I look, I make my own rules. Bro. I'm the only one that followed the goddamn rules and got hey, hurt. Well, for it. I had it a week. totally different list. It's been five weeks, you haven't followed a single rule. All right, so here we go Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you don't like this movie, if you didn't think this movie was good, I don't, I can't help you, bro. I just can't. Did, did you read the, the book? Was awesome. Yeah, but the movie was actually awesome. Like, the book was okay. The book was good. Don't get me wrong. The book was good. Yeah. I understand. Look, I'm not one of those guys that will criticize a movie because it doesn't follow the book tier for tier, right? Like, come up with something that makes me entertained, and I'll cheer. Like, it's Spartacus. So, yeah, right. Are you not entertained? And I thought this movie was really good. It was clever. It hit all the things. If you're smart, if you're stupid, if you like things, if you think things are funny, if you just want to be angry, it hit them all, bro. It caught you. It was a very good movie. It was funny. It was sarcastic. I liked it. I don't know. What do we got? Star Trek. (laughs) Number four. (laughs) Number four on the list. Okay, number four on the list was. Oh wow, I'm gonna kill for this because it's Tom Cruise movie. As a matter of fact, all right. So Edge of Tomorrow. It's Edge of Tomorrow. We can share the screen of Edge of Tomorrow. We took away that. Yeah. So it's Edge of Tomorrow. The only reason I like this is not because, yes, Tom Cruise acting was terrible in this movie. I but get it, it is actually a good movie. The Very actual good concept. Movie. I, yeah, fell the, in, I fell in love with um, Emily Blunt in this movie big time, absolutely. man. Crush on her con- hardcore. And the concept of the movie, I'm an apocalyptic type guy too, so I love that type of stuff. And the concept of this, especially with the like comeback, the, 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 the fake science, the sci-fi science of this was really good. It made sense. And that's how you sell me. Sell me on either make it so ridiculous that you don't believe it or sell me on the sci-fi science. And this one did. It really sold me on the sci-fi science. I really enjoyed it. Uh, look, it was a good movie, even if, though Tom was in it. And to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of Tom. So, yeah, cool. Next is three. And on three we have. And by the way, with three we have Godzilla. Or no, Attack of the Block is number two, my friend. But we'll yeah. talk about Attack of the Block, anyways. Attack of the Block. Yeah. Look, we got a Star Wars star here. We got uh, and we it was kind of one of those conversions. It was a European film that ended up coming across and doing pretty good. Aliens were trying to take over what would be our equivalent of um, the projects. If you haven't seen this movie, it's kind of rem- look. I'm a Judge Dredd fan. If you watch this, you know that I love Judge Dredd. This reminded me a lot of Judge Dredd and what would happen with Common Day Judge Dredd. If aliens tried to invade, I really liked it. I thought it was a cool video uh, or movie. I watched it a bunch of times. Make sure you check it out. Okay, what do we have next? 
Godzilla. So this is what, look, I'm a big fan of the monsters. Like I love them all. I like that old series. Um, I've done very well also selling a lot of these things, especially for different versions of it. And when they brought this Godzilla back, I was poo-pooing it. Remember they did the intro to this? I thought it was going to be terrible. And then when they actually showed this the first time of Godzilla coming back, I thought it was finally a Godzilla that we really appreciate. Yes, Godzilla is an alien. So, like, don't try to cut me on the technicality. <laughs> Screw you. All right, next video. Or next uh, film, please. That's number one, Paul. Like, this is great, dude. Like, this... This is why I think of people like, look, they made that. They First off, I love Peg. Uh, I do know that he did some Star Trek stuff, so that's unfortunate. But like, if you ever watch Fanboy too, like I think that's kind of up there. There was two Peg movies I wanted to put in here. I wanted to put in this and the one where they go to the bars all the time too. I thoroughly enjoy their comedy. I, I love the fact that they use the alien and the aliens like, hey, he, he breaks a lot of the... How should I say this? Uh, like a lot of the people that think uh, what aliens are supposed to be and they like visualize the typical being... alien. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The human the humanize aliens. Like I really think it's funny. I really think it's funny how it would probably react if an alien did show up here. Definitely don't think it's a big headed green alien person, but whatever. I found this funny. I find Simon Pegg very funny. Um, I like everything they do. So this definitely had to be number one. I've watched this probably more than i've watched any of these other videos um and think it's hilarious like it's funny dude it's just i, I love paul i thought it was so funny and they had so many uh, get out of here with max steve come on you're my boy bro are you kidding so me any um undertoned like star wars jokes that ran throughout the movie that were oh I yeah mean, they had several one-liner references back to Star Wars. And like yes. when he walks in the bar and they're playing the, the song from the Moss Eisley Cantina and just all the, this show was so funny. It, it was, was so, so good. good. And so. I love their zombie stuff too. I love Simon Pegg. <laughs> just like, that's what I like. I mean, he makes me laugh. I mean, you can't get Lewis Black anymore or people like that, but Simon Pegg's always good. He does a great thing. Steve Horn, bro, we're brothers, but, but don't ever do that again. What year that was Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Quest. Quest? I thought uh, that was the 90s. It might have been 90s. I think it was late 90s before. Because it wasn't in the 2000 to 2010, so I didn't put it in. Steve, Along with hey. A lot of the other classics, like The Fifth Element. Um, if we didn't have a timeline, that one would have been in there. That's one of the greatest Just to buy a year. Made. By the way, Steve, I don't know if you quite caught it, but the guy who has been is a writer for Steve uh, for Mystery Science Theater three thousand might actually be on the show next week. So, hopefully, you guys all tune in for that real quickly. Um, and Steve Horn is the smartest man in comics. I don't care what anybody else says; he is really the smartest man in comics. What else do we got? Batteries not included was before two thousand. So was con so was a uh, so, cocoon. So was Spaceballs. Yep. Oh, I love Spaceballs. Let's. <laughs> Hey, what are we doing next week? District 9. Okay, I get it. District, District 9, 9 was good. It was on my list, and then it got knocked off. Battlefield? It's one of the fake – or Battleship, I'm sorry. One of the fakest <laughs> movies ever made, and it was – it's just entertaining because it's it's one of those, like, just so wrong, it's right movies. And, oh, I, I love that show. I will watch that show anytime it's on because it's just – it's just dumb entertainment. It's awesome because it's so <laughs> inaccurate with every scene. But do so remember, do remember, three of the four of us actually did movies in two thousand, and somebody <laughs> didn't. Follow hold me. on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna talk some shit right here. Yes, talk some please shit do. right here. Please do. Oh, let's do it. I got. I hey, look. I got comic book Jesus. Look, he's got the. So I go on to the freaking outline for the show. Oh, I don't even. The outline that. show says segment number four, top five movies with aliens in them. Oh, uh, who did the wrong shit now, bitches? I think you guys all did the wrong that. shit. Oh, who changed that?